This is the Hanayama chess set. You can see right here. I love this set, not because it's the most difficult puzzles I've ever done. Um, they're not but because of the artistry and how clever it is and because I'm a huge nerd and I love chess. So these puzzles are absolutely fantastic. They're well made, great. As, as in all Hanayama puzzles, they're very well done and every part has a special purpose. I also need to give a shout out to Be Puzzled who sent me this set. I think that people at Be Puzzled read my mind because they contacted me and sent me chess puzzles, uh, con connecting together two of my most favorite things. Before I open it, the box does tell me that this is a level three difficulty. Um, the king does come apart in this way. Um, also gives me an explanation of the coin on the back. There is a coin hidden inside of each and it tells you what is on the coin. The king, level three, the most difficult probably of the puzzles. Let's take a look at how to solve it. You'll notice when you start touching the king here that um, a couple pieces move. The bottom twirls around and the top piece is um, a button that sometimes sticks and like when you turn it sometimes it gets stuck and sometimes it gets stuck in the wrong place and that threw me off for the longest time. I was trying to figure out, like I thought it was some kind of maze inside here with this, like that maybe if I moved it and, and moved it back and forth just the right way, it would kind of pop the bottom, but it's actually less complicated than that. I made it harder than it needed to be. Um, but it does have to do with both spinning the bottom, spinning the middle piece as well, and pushing the button. So that's my hint if you haven't yet solved it to try that. Try spinning the bottom, spinning the middle, and working with this um, this button here. Work those three things together and if you want the solution, here it comes at you. What's difficult about this puzzle solving it is that it's, uh, you know, the same all the way around. You can't say stop at this point, stop at this point. So what I've found though is that there are a couple of, of things that on my puzzle seems to work out. Um, let me kind of get that in focus and see if you can see that. I know you can kind of see. The line right here where they cast this puzzle, you can kind of see right along there and also on the other side. For me, that is something that um, I use as a reference point. So those two pieces are here and here. I set them so that they are um, flat to the ground or parallel to the ground. And then I set this piece as well. And you can see that one um, does as well, has kind of a crease along there where they cast it. Um, so I, I line those up. I line that one up with the line there and then set them in this way. And that's what I found um, actually works for solving it. Then what you want to do is push this in and you have to kind of wiggle it because there is a pin on the inside. And if it falls down, then you have this set the correct way. Notice how even with shaking and stuff, this is not falling down on this side. So what I want to do now is turn just that piece over and try it again this way. Oh. Did that get stuck? Yeah, got stuck. You see that? So now it's stuck halfway. That means that the pin is correctly in there and this will come off. All right, if that didn't work, I would have flipped it over this way and done the same thing, this side and then this side. So let me show you what's happening here. There's a pin inside there and what you have to do is line up this and this to get that to work. Let me, here I'll... There's that pin. And if you spin this around and try pushing it in anywhere else, that pin's going to stay out. It's not going to go in. The only time it goes in is if this is lined up correctly like that. And it will come right in. So that's the solution for the king. Um, look, when you pull this out, you get this awesome coin that does say king on it. 
you can see that king and on the other side has a star. That is the solution for taking the king apart. When you're putting them back together, you've got to line up the, the solid um, kind of divot there with the groove, put it back in. What have I done? There we go. And then basically just let that release and you're good to go. So that's the full solution for solving the king piece of the Hanayama chess puzzle. Absolutely love it, one of my favorites. I love how it looks, I love how it feels. I'm gonna set it on a chess board in my room um, next to all my puzzles, and this is definitely gonna be the king of all of my puzzles. I hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.